Hey guys, this is the next episode of my XR Weekly News, this time with week 20, 2024. My voice is getting a little bit better, although I, I, I have this feeling here that I um, still have to um, recover. I tried everything, but uh, I think I still need two or three weeks. Yeah, <laughs> the weather here is really hot, uh, I, I'm, I'm sweating, and uh, I can also see it in my VR statistics. So. Nobody's watching my videos anymore, but I'm used to that. Yeah, it's just uh, so strange. In the summer month, nobody is interested in VR, and that sucks for me personally. Yeah, so uh, I, I will reduce my videos a little bit because when I normally I show a video every day, but it doesn't make sense when nobody watches it. Let's be honest. Yeah, I will continue the weekly news and I will show you uh, stuff that's really interesting and important, but not every game. It doesn't make sense yeah, in the summer months. Uh, but I can also understand that because people want to go outside, want to experience the sun and so on. So it's fine. <laughs> so everything about XR hardware games, releases and sales. Thank you to my sponsors, Woodcoast VR, Opperman Events, which is Camp Area 1 and Virtual Reality Center Basel. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Voodoo.de So guys, there is a new Steam VR update. You know there is the Steam Link app for the Quest. That means you can install it and then if the PC is in the same network, you can just click on connect and, and you are in Steam VR with the Quest. That's pretty cool. And now there is a Steam VR update to improve that. It's called 2.5 update. And for example, it will increase the lateral tracking stability. It will um, fix some initialization connection failures that I also had, that's really good. Problems uh, when uh, coming from the standby mode, uh, fi uh, fix problems when you insert USB devices or remove uh, two additional client crash fixes and also uh, some video encoder initialization problem fixes for AMD GPUs. That's pretty cool. So we can see that um, Valve is still interested in that stuff. And Valve knows that the Quest 3 is very important for Steam VR. It's really cool that Valve not only fixes stuff for the for their own headset, the Index, but also for other headsets. And uh, I love that. That's really cool. So the Quest 2 and Quest 3 get a travel mode. So that means when you are sitting in an airplane, normally it would happen when there is the plane going up and down or left and right or if there are turbulences, everything will shake around or fly away or something, the virtual content. And now if you are on update version 65, you can go in the settings in the experimental mode and activate the travel mode. Yeah, And that means the headset will recognize that you sit in the airplane and then stabilize everything. So as you can see here, you can play games. And here's also a video of uh, Zuckerberg himself, I think in a private jet. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> he watches some movies yeah, and it's stable. He, he also plays the Mio. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So on a long travel, you can do that now. The thing is, I'm not sure if I will do that. I mean, if I sit in a row with four people, in the second row between two other people and I do like this here and I think it will go on the nerves for the other people. I, it, I, I don't want to do that. Perhaps sit there at the window and then watch a movie. But it's still strange to see somebody with a headset. At least here in Germany, I never ever saw anybody with a VR headset in any plane. Never. Yeah. And I don't think I will. Be, I want to be the first one that people would think, well, what's that strange guy? I don't know. But uh, it's pretty cool. Also, there's a cooperation with Lufthansa. Um, that means uh, in, on some Lufthansa flights, you can log in with the Quest and their Wi-Fi and you get some entertainment apps like uh, movies or some games or TV shows or so. That's also pretty cool. So as you can see, Meta is doing stuff in every direction and that's really cool. So guys, there's a new payment 
option for Pimax headsets. It's called Trial Payment, Final Payment. And this is available in the US, Canada, EU, UK, Australia, and New Zealand. How does it work? So, you will order a Pimax headset, Pimax Crystal, Pimax Crystal Lite, whatever. And uh, of course, you will go via my link here yeah, that you can find in the first pinned comment in the description because then you can also get a coupon code and so on. And then you will choose at the payment that you want the trial payment. Yeah? That means you pay less than the full price. I will show it to you uh, soon. And then after you paid that, you will get the headset and you have a 15 day free trial. So you can try, if, if, is my PC fine for that? Does everything work? Is it like I expected or so? And then you have to decide, do I want to keep it? Then you have to pay the rest of the money or do I want to return it because I don't like it? Then you get the full money back yeah, and you have to return it, of course. Yeah, and that's pretty cool. So here are the prices. For example, if you Normally, if you order the crystal light with local dimming, with controllers, and with lighthouse faceplate, you would pay $900. So, with the trial payment, you will only pay $700. That's 200 bucks less. Yeah? I mean, of course, it would be better the other way around if you would pay like 200 bucks and later the rest. But, I mean, I, I can understand that because if you use that 15 days, it's a used headset. They have to sell it again as a used or refurbished headset. So I can understand that a little bit, yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's 200 bucks less. That's better than nothing, right? And um, the next thing, for example, uh, and after that, if you decide to keep it, you have to pay the other 200 bucks. Um, the next example is the crystal light with local dimming headset only. Normally you would play, pay 800 bucks and now we pay 600 bucks. No? That's okay for some people that just don't want to spend so much money um, <clears throat> to, to just try it. And you get the guarantee of Pimax to get the money back. The only question that I ask myself is what about the custom fees? So if it comes from China or so to EU or US or Canada or whatever, we have to pay custom fees as soon as I know. I asked them, I didn't uh, get a reply yet. I will put it in the description below as soon as I know. But then we have to pay custom fees and we don't get that back. So I don't know how that works. Uh, perhaps we sit on the cost of the custom fee. I don't know. However, is that option interesting for you? If yes, please go via my link and use my coupon code. That would be awesome. Interesting thing here. So Apple released their schematics for the Apple Vision Pro and they are pretty detailed. And that means we can see everything. How is the faceplate connected? How are the dimensions here? Very detailed. How are the speakers connected? Even the optical inserts, every single detail. And what does it mean? Of course, that means that third-party accessories will uh, can be developed much faster and much better. Yeah? And this is always a good thing because in most cases, third-party accessories are much more cheaper than the official Apple stuff. Yeah? And that's really cool. I, I'm not sure if that's uh, usual for Apple. I mean, they, they normally they want to stay in their own bubble and sell their own stuff. But this is a good sign yeah, for me um, and I, I think there will be a lot of third-party accessories coming now for the Vision Pro. So guys, I'm pretty sure you know this page here. It's the Meta um, web page and for example you can see games and here are the normal games in the store, Beat Saber, VRChat and so on. But look at this here, we have the App Lab here. How cool is that? Normally it was hidden, you have to uh, search for the link or install via side quest or whatever. And now just go to the App Lab category. I think it's also available in the uh, app, in the Meta app. And 
Look at this here. We even have the categories, adrenaline or uh, everything or fitness or gaming zone or whatever. Yeah, and that's so easy. You can just go on any app here and then just click install and it will install on your um, headset. Yeah, so it's much more present yeah, than before. Just go here on App Lab and then you, you can find uh, many more games. I'm pretty sure that a lot of Quest users don't even know that App Lab exists. So these are additional apps that are um, yeah, perhaps not as big or as uh, bug free than the apps in the official store, but there are still a lot of cool things. For example, here's a video player or so. Just go here on App Lab and try a little bit, search a little bit, try a little bit around. That's a cool thing. Do you want a pretty hard adventure puzzle game? Then check out this. Um, so Riven is the sequel to Myst, a, a really nice um, adventure puzzle game that was released in uh, 1993. And the remake of Riven will come this summer. And together with the remake, there will be a VR version for Quest 2, Quest 3 and Steam VR. That's really cool. It will be on Windows and Mac. And here on the Steam page, you can see it supports VR here. Yeah? Really nice, looks pretty good. I'm pretty sure the PC VR version will look best. And I'm looking forward to that. Although I think it will be really hard for me. Yeah? So you have to take your time to check every hint and so on. It's not an easy game. And uh, I'm totally looking forward to play that in VR. Official release date is summer 2024. So, according to Mark German from Bloomberg, it seems like the Apple Vision Pro will be sold outside the US soon because he says uh, that Apple Vision, uh, that Apple stuff in the stores is trained to do the uh, Vision Pro demo sessions. And he's talking about different countries here. Check this out. Germany, France, Australia, Japan, South Korea, Singapore, China. Germany. <laughs> yeah, guys. So it seems that here in Germany, uh, the, the Division Pro will be sold uh, soon when this is correct. I mean, Mark Gurman was very right. Before the Apple Vision Pro was released, he leaked a lot of stuff that was correct. So could be right. And when we... Uh, think about when the US Apple stuff was trained. Um, when we calculate that, it would mean that, for example, here in Germany, the Vision Pro will be sold at the end of this month, of May 2024 or early June. That's really interesting. However, I'm pretty excited about the price. I mean, in, here in Europe, we have a lot of tech stuff. So the text will be added. So it will be around, I'm pretty sure, something between 4,000 and 5,000 euro. Yeah? So like 4,500 to 5,500 dollars. So even more expensive. And I will definitely not buy it. I, I just cannot do it. It's, it's just too expensive for that what you get. I mean, the, the headset is nice. I made the review. I love this headset. It's cool, but it's it, it's too expensive. It doesn't make sense yeah? for me and also for my supporters. You know, there are many people that support me since years. Just uh, some people for one buck per month. You can support me as well and get some cool bonus like early access and so on. Check out the first pinned comment, the link. Then you can support me via Patreon or YouTube membership. And I cannot... It doesn't make sense. The people will think, well, why he's spending all the money that we support him? I, I understand that, and that's why I don't do that. Um, the maximum money I would spend on the Vision Pro is 2,000 euro. That's the absolute maximum, and even this will be hard. Um, so we will see. Um, when you live outside the US, are you interested in buying a Vision Pro? Write it in the comments below. 
So let's check out the releases this week. On Steam we have Hunter Beat. This is a small shooter uh, game, relaxing shooter game. <laughs> it's for free. Then we have Starship 43. It's an ego shooter in space. Then we have Love On. This is a VR dating simulation only for adults. <laughs> then we have Blacktop Hoops. This is a um, ba basketball uh, simulation game. Then we have Stride Fates. I already showed that on my channel. I'm one of the few people that pretty likes the game. You see most of the people don't like it. I think the, the thing is I try thousands of games. I, tr I also try the crappy games. So sometimes I just jump into a game for 20 seconds and I think, oh my God, I will not record it and not show it. Um, but this one was not so bad, yeah, for me at least. So I played it a little bit more um, and I, I don't think it's so bad. I, d I also didn't have any bugs. I also don't care about uh, the AI voice and, and AI cover art. It's okay. There were, there were pretty worse games that I played. For example, Madison VR, the horror game, had, had so many bugs. I couldn't really, I didn't want to play it. But this one was okay. Yeah, that's why I liked it. Then we have on Quest some assembly required. A robot building simulator, pretty cool. Then also Blacktop Hoops. Um, Ultimate Swing Golfs. Uh, this, this is a golf simulator. Then Retropolis 2. I played that on PC VR month ago. It's a pretty nice adventure game. Then Masters of Light. It's a rhythm action game um, that you can also play with hand tracking. And also on PlayStation VR 2, Stride Fates. It has a better rating here as it seems. So this were the releases this week. And let's check out the sales this week. On Steam we have Blair Witch VR, a really nice horror adventure game. It's 80% of the Serious Sam VR franchise is uh, around 85% of a really nice action game. The Talos Principle, a really nice um, puzzle adventure game. It's 70% of Paper Beast, also a nice adventure. 75% of Gorn, a very brutal melee fighting game. 50% of then on the PlayStation VR 2 Hubris. Nice looking adventure, 50% of Hello Neighbor Search and Rescue a Stealth Game, 45% of Prison Boss VR. We, we are uh, the uh, we have to do like illegal things in the uh, um, prison, 50% of then Thumper VR is uh, a music rhythm action game, 50% of anti Mio uh, board game. I would say it's 50% off. So guys, consider to support me. Check out the first pinned comment uh, via one buck per month or, or just if you buy something on Amazon, go via my link. It's for free for you and you can support me a little bit. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya!